YouTube, Katie here with Vape Girl Review, and I am sorry it has taken me a little while to put out another video, and I do apologize, guys, uh, but thanks for sticking with me. <laughs> um, it's been a crazy couple weeks, a lot of sad things happened, and then just a lot of distractions, and I do apologize, but hopefully I'm back on the game, and I don't do that anymore to you. <laughs> I think it's been like a week and a few days, but I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but... I do have some fun things coming up. I do have some fun things that actually happened too. I got to go to Global Vapors and I got to um, tour their warehouse. So that was fun. I got to meet Chen and he's really, really freaking nice. And I walk in and it was just like e-liquid everywhere and all over the walls. It's not a store. It's like a warehouse. So it's really cool. Um, but yeah, they took me to the back and I got to see... Um, row after row after row after row of um, vaping products, mods, tanks, you know, RDAs, uh, coils, you know, wire. So yeah, that was fun. That was really, really fun. I was really glad that I got down to the Cincinnati area. They're on Union Center, which is about 45 minutes for me, but I was down there. So I was really glad to get there and actually get to meet them. It's nice to see a face to the awesome people who sponsor me so yeah but I do have some fun things coming up some things that are from Global Vapors that I just want to give you a heads up about now I have the glasses RDA which is what my opening hit was from so I've got some things to say about this really kinda of cool actually I'll give you a sneak peek but there we go see the inside of that but it's really interesting interesting how this thing is set up and the airflow is little glasses <laughs> kind of cheesy but you know it works it works so it works but anyways we'll talk about that in depth coming up and then I also have the Sense Heracles version 2 to go over for you guys so yeah check that out I've got e-liquid in it already so don't mind me but yeah I've been hitting this thing and I've got an opinion, but I'm not going to share it yet. I'm not going to share it just yet. You're going to have to wait for it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, and then I have this Crixis. I think that's how you say it. Crixis Horizon Tech. It's basically you wick your own coils. Um, Global Vapors told me it's going to make um, coils irrelevant because you just replace the cotton. So that's pretty cool, too. Um, I actually have an opinion about this as well. Some pros and cons actually to all of these babies. But yeah, those are the things that I have coming up. And I'm actually excited about all of these. All black. You know me, I like colors. But I wish it came in like purple and blue and pink. That would make me happy. But anyway, sorry. Off topic. I have also got some cotton that I have been trying out. I have tried out Vapor's Gold. I have tried out Celtic Cotton. I have tried out <laughs> Climax Cotton and they sent me the shirt which is pretty cool and their back slogan is, I don't want to say it, <laughs> I almost, you know, blush and it's on the back of my shirt too and I'm like, okay, what is this? But anyways, I asked Clay, I was like, where is my cotton? And he was like, what? Which one? The, the Climax Cotton? I said, no, I know where my Climax is. <laughs> <laughs> it just makes for very interesting um, conversations. And then I have this cotton, which came in my craft vapory box. It's called Native Wicks uh, Premium Blend. Now, I got to say, these three, the Celtic Cotton, the Climax Cotton, and the Vapors Gold, are on a whole new level than this. This is what got uh, I got in my... Um, Craft Vapory Box, which I will talk about today. I was actually disappointed in the box that I got. I think only one flavor that I received that I actually um, liked. So, yeah, that sucks. But anyways, yeah, this cotton was pretty no good for me. No good for me. Uh, I felt like it didn't really... I was always constantly re-wicking it and keeping it wet. <laughs> but, I mean, it just... I could tell. I could tell between the flavor. Now, between these three, these all three, I think, are a good brand. Woo! I dropped it. I'm getting it. Getting, I didn't drop the Climax, or as I said, get my Climax. <laughs> 
As far as names go, come on, guys. That's funny as hell. <laughs> Climax Cotton. I can show you what it looks like. This one's not open. I have them. I grabbed the new package. Yeah. Little squares. You can see them. And the Celtic cotton also is little squares. You get more than this. I've been using the hell out of Celtic cotton. So, um, I really, I don't know. See, they're all good. I like the Vapor's Gold too. Nice and thick. So I really just don't think either, any you get one of these three, I don't think you're going to go wrong. Um, I mean, I mean, I've been using like crazy with the Celtic cotton, and I really feel like I can get a ton of hits um, before I have to, you know, keep it wet again. <laughs> keep it wet! <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know. I really just like these three. These three are good. I have no issues or complaints with these three. Um, as far as which one's best, I mean, I don't know. I haven't decided that yet. But, I mean, I really like this guy. is so super nice. Celtic Cotton. He's really cool. And then this name is freaking awesome, <laughs> even though I blush. And they sent me a tank top, too, which I had slept in the last couple nights. And this one's horrible. I don't like this cotton at all. Native Wicks. Platinum Blend. Voted best taste. So... I don't know if they put that on there just because, or if they truly were best taste, and I just don't like them. That makes me, you know, feel embarrassed. But <laughs> or maybe these are just better, and I just prefer these. Maybe that's that's what it is. People didn't try these yet. <laughs> but yeah, those are the three cotton. Well, four. I don't really count this one. I mean, I don't really. Who wants this? <laughs> I don't want it. Um, my husband won't use it either. Yes. I mean. I just, I feel like it's a cotton ball that's just stretched out. <laughs> I don't know. Well, that was a little bit of disappointment. That I mean, I was glad to get it in the craft bakery box. I mean, that was nice, but I don't like it. I, I won't use it. I mean, I've only used it like once, and I was like, okay, pull this out, and I went back to Celtic Cotton. I was just trying it because I got it, and then just recently, this last week, I got this one and this one in. Um, I bought these, by the way, bought these, so I can not feel bad, but, the, but I don't know. I can't really pick. I'm so, I'm so indecisive, but yeah, bear with me. My microphone is on the fritz. I had a kid chew the cord <laughs> like an animal. They unplugged my Blue Yeti microphone and they gnawed on the end. I think it was my daughter. She's four. And I wasn't happy, but, you know, whatever, whatever. Is that his, is this it right here? No, this is not. This is the micro USB. This takes a different one. Is this it? Yes, this is it. Look what she did. Look what she did to my Blue Yeti cord. And she chewed it. Like, not on it. Like, what the heck? Anyways, Mama was like, what the heck? <laughs> Came up to do a video, and I would have had a video out this week if weren't for that, but it really put me down, a Debbie Downer. But anyways, there's that. This is kind of just a vlog, guys. I'm sorry. I'm just kind of rambling, but I really will get in depth and put these cottons. Well, I'll show you. I'll put them all in different RDAs. Um, right now, I have these three mods up here with me, and obviously, I've got two Buddhas. Um, I will talk to you a little bit about the Buddhas. You guys saw me talking about how much I love these. These are just awesome. I adore these Buddhas. They produce awesome vapor. The build is easy to do. There's really, I mean, look how big the deck is. I mean, there's no... I mean, I built, no, I didn't do this one. I did this one, <laughs> but I built a coil. So, I mean, I was, I think I did this one. Yeah, I did this one. <laughs> this one's my work. <laughs> this one's Clay's. You can tell. You can tell who's better. <laughs> oh, Big Papa versus Big Papa and versus Little Mama, who, yeah, he kept, he kept, 
taking it from me. Like, no, don't do it like that. <laughs> don't do that. No, keep it tighter. And I was like, oh my God, just effing build me the coils for me because I'm about done. <laughs> I'm about done. So I don't know. I it really wasn't, you know, I did okay. We were snuggled up together. So I guess that was a plus. But I don't know. I just didn't really, I just really didn't get into it. I mean, maybe I will later. But yeah, I've got um, Twinkies. No, 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 not Twinkies. Oh yeah, this is the Fruity Pebble Pop from Mother Vape. And I am digging, digging that. I am digging the Mother Vape Fruity Pebble Pop. Where'd I put it? Threw it in here. This is what goes with me everywhere. I carry all my mods and all my e-liquids <laughs> that I'm doing for the day. But I'm really loving this one. This one's called the Loyal Oil Drip. Freaking A. I love that. I told Clay that it reminds me of his um, Loaded. Loaded. And he's like, no, it doesn't. But anyways, when I'm tasting them, I mean, obviously, I think this one has more of a spice punch to it. And the Loaded is sweeter. But as far as if being in the same group and tasting very similar, I, I do. I think that tastes a lot like Loaded. Um, and on my glasses, I have the Jack Apps. This is here, and what's in my, here it is, look, I got this two days ago, it's already, anyways, so what's in my Buddha rainbow is my Mother Vape Fruity Pebble Pop, and it's really good, I really, I really like it, um, she's got an offer going on right now, it is um, free 10 you spend eight dollars and then uh, you buy eight dollars worth of e-liquid whether it's whatever one ten or fifteen mil or thirty whatever you spend eight dollars and you get a free ten mil bottle of your choice so you add the ten mil bottle to your checkout and you pick your flavor and then you get it for free so yeah I've got to try I haven't tried it yet root beer float which I dread I hate all root beer flavors I got a couple people who sent me root beer flavors and I'm like Oh, why you sent me root beer flavors? But yeah, here's the um, ice cream, vanilla ice cream. I have not tried that one yet from Mother Vape, and I have not tried the Dole Whip. So these are three that I need to get on and try. But right now, I don't like to mix it up. I bought the um, the Twinkies and the Fruity Pebble Pop, and I don't know. I'm really weird. Like I like to. I know that if I don't finish an e-liquid bottle, here's the Twinkies, if I don't finish it, then it'll be put aside for a while because I've got, I've got no joke, did you guys see my picture on Instagram? I have, and that wasn't even all of it, I have so much that I need to review. Um, oh, it's just, it's like, oh my god, I have to get to this, and you know, I sat down, I spent three hours on Sunday, three hours. <laughs> I lined everything up. I put them in groups of A, B, C, and D, F. Like D, F was its own group. And there were some things I'm like, yeah. So I had my husband and a friend. We were all going through everything. We all three tasted it. And then we would all decide where we thought it should be placed. And most of the stuff was good. Every, most of everything was a C, B, or A. Um, but there was about that much like I was every bit of 20 bottles and one entire line of one company that fell into the DF category because it was none of us liked it we were all like move along there was one though I will say this um, binge vapors binge vapors do I have it up here one of them they have three flavors right now um, <laughs> it was like a game. We would take our hand and we'd pull one out. And every time we got to a binge after the first time and we tasted it and we all loved it because this was an A. All, all the three of these flavors was voted an A by all of us. Um, we pulled out and, my, and Clay would go, binge! <laughs> and we'd go, woo! <laughs> Let's try the binge! But yeah, so that was, that was a fun day. Although there at the end of the three hours we were all like, are we done yet? And I don't think we did everything, but I told them to skip the things I've already done. And, you know, of course, I gave my friend some things that he loved that I just liked. And I don't need to have a 
crap ton of stuff. So that's fine. I don't care to share. I definitely don't care to share, especially if I think somebody else is going to like it better than me. But, you know, currently I'm really crushing on the Binge Indulgence, which is what I just showed you. It's a pink bottle. I'm really crushing on this Loyal Oil Drip. It's Kama Kamikaze Cream. And like I said, I feel like this tastes like Loaded. Clay disagrees with me, though. So, I mean, it, it is a more strong flavor. So if Loaded is a little bit too strong for you, then this is definitely going to be too strong for you. But I personally feel like they're very similar and in the same category. Um, and then I really do like the Fruity Pebble Pop. I was pleasantly surprised um, with this. You know, what I say about Mother Vape is she's unique. Um, I'm speaking to um, Badass Vapor. Uh, he's on Twitter and Instagram. And he agrees with me. She's just different. There is something that she, she's not like everything else. It's, it's a different kind of flavor base. If you're expecting a Twinkie like that's a standard Twinkie flavor, you're not going to get that with her. You're going to get the sweet Twinkie flavor, but it also has a different unique taste to it. It's not something I can really pinpoint, um, but I like it. I've spent money with her. I have made a couple orders with her. So yeah, the first review I did, she sent me those things. Um, I paid for shipping and then everything else I've gotten after that I have purchased. Now she did send me, I got the offer code because um, I got I did two separate words. Anyways, I got some free stuff, but for the offer code, it's free 10. But like I said, she's just, you know, I think she's good. Now, I will say Clay doesn't is not really a big fan, but personally, um, I, I am. I'm a big fan of her stuff. I think that she's good, and I do intend to shop there some more. And if I didn't, then I wouldn't have bought these things. <laughs> but look at this. I've got, and I've got like, other empty bottles. I say, do you guys save your bottles? Because I am really bad at that. I don't like throwing away the bottles. I will rinse out glass bottles. Clay just throws them out. But I, I know I'm gonna have like a, a shrine of vape juice bottles. Um, not vape juice, but you know, vape bottles. But I really do. I really do save them. So I have a hard time with that. But anyways, yeah. But the Twinkies. I have only took um I only dripped that once, but I don't like to really switch it up. I'm doing the fruity pebble pop right now, which I'll take a hit. Yeah, I really like this flavor. I'm a big fan. A big, big fan. Now, um, I told you about her offer code, so that's good. And I talked a little bit about the Buddhas. I'm kind of bouncing all over the place, guys. I don't know. Um, I do want to talk to you a little bit about my Ranger mod. I don't intend to do a full review on this, um, so I do want to touch on it now. This mod is pretty awesome. You've got your on and off switch right here, down for off, if I can get this big chunky nail into it. So it's off. But you also have an LED switch you can turn on and off. So now you can see. What it's firing. She, this is $150. It's a little pricey. Um, but this is my go-to mod now. I adore it. And I'm not sure if it's because of the way it looks, which I'm certain, well, maybe it is, <laughs> the engraved butterfly, um, the really pretty purple light. Yeah, I'm really, really bad with looks. I am so girly, but honestly, I really do like this, this mod. Now, it doesn't go, it's kind of, I can't go below 0.3, and I think that's because of safety reasons, not because the mod won't go below, but because of battery um, explosion. <laughs> but yeah, um, I was talking to Chen from Global Vapors, and he said this mod could probably do, uh, you know, 0.2 ohm, and then but anything below that would be extremely dangerous. So I'm gonna ki I'm gonna keep to what. Uh, Rath Mons. Her name is Melanie, um, the Ranger. But I'm going to keep to what she said and keep it at 0.3. I did have a 0.27 on here and it worked. And I didn't think it, you know, because if you put one that's too low on a different mod, it just will say atomizer short, won't even do it. Um, but with this, it 
it kicked it. So, <laughs> but I was like, well, I'm not too worried about 0.27. And then I had a 2.29. Um, so I'm not, I wasn't too worried about it, but you know, I've been trying to keep it at the 0.3 ohm mark just because that's, that was her recommendation. Now, like I said, it was $150. Do I regret this purchase? No, because I adore it and I love them and I love supporting um, local businesses. And I, you know, it's not that she's my local business, but she's a, I love, that's why I love Mother Babe. I mean, that's just how I roll. I mean, I love people who are getting off, off their feet and or just small businesses. There we go. Small businesses. I love supporting small businesses. So yeah, I would have bought this again. Um, it was my Christmas gift. I mean, Clay told me he was going to get me a mod, a custom, whatever I wanted mod. And I ended up choosing this because I wanted the butterfly because I'm lame. <laughs> Go along with my butterfly tattoo in the back and in the front. Well, <laughs> you know, on my lower back and the one on my side here. <laughs> Not in the back and in the front. Jeez. <laughs> oh, my God, guys. You know, I, I keep it wet. Keep it wet. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, I got a little raunchy there, but yeah. Um, all around, though, I'm very satisfied with this. Now, I like to keep this off because I don't want to drain the battery any more than I have to. I hit, I hit my mods so much. I'm charging all three of these by the end of the night. Um, this one will go a day and a half, maybe two, especially if I'm hitting this one more. Um, but I bought a backup pair of batteries for this one so that I can just be like, Ch -ch 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 -ch. which reminds me, I gotta charge my batteries. I got them in my, my little battery case. That I got from Global Vapors. Woo -woo. You know, you guys should have one of these. You should never be carrying loose batteries around, just so y'all know, which I'm sure you guys do. Whatever. Yeah, I'm just going to stick them on right here while I'm talking to you guys. Get them charged on my four battery charging port. But yeah, no, I was very excited. Also, a brand worth mentioning that I did a personal order from. They did not send me juice, people. They did not send me juice. Um, well, they don't send juice anyways, but that's why I wanted to buy it. I was like, I'm going to try you. It was Fruit Whoops and Throw-In Whips from Brap Juice. And then there's this one. They are really good. Really good. Um, the cereal flavor is excellent. Excellent really love it and the throw and whips I think is like a strawberry banana something but it's not an over potent um, like in your face flavor it's really good I just want to this is an honorable mention that I'm not going to do a review on but you guys should absolutely Ew, I got a floater I got something in my bottle but look look how much I vaped guys I mean I got this in this week and I have been dripping these 30 mil bottles you know, and well, you guys know we go through the juice so fast, but oh my gosh, I have been in complete love with the brap juice and the kamikaze cream. I've gotten some good stuff this last week. Now, like I said, I do have some things that I, there's two brands that I received and the entire line I hated. Fortunately, fortunately, doing the taste test the other two liked one of the flavors on one of the brands. There was one brand that we all hated all the flavors and it was like six or seven flavors. So that sucks. But <laughs> um, there was one that only one flavor came out on top and I'm a little bit, it's going to be unfortunate. It's going to be unfortunate because I, I'm going to have to tell you. <laughs> it is and you know it's for review and you know I'm not gonna lie so it's gonna be not a fun review for me to do I'm gonna be like seriously sorry but definitely not for me and it wasn't for my friend and it wasn't for my husband so that's three people and I will say us three people <laughs> us three usually have different flavor tastes. Um, what our friend really likes, me and Clay either hate, what Clay really loves, I really don't like. Um, very few things have we agreed upon, but there have been some. Pop D's has been an all-around favorite. Um, Loaded is an all-around favorite. Clay really liked this kamikaze cream, and I swear to God, Loaded is, is his favorite. And I was like, it tastes just like it to me, just a little bit more intense. He's like, no, no, no. You love it so much. <laughs> 
he can't figure it out. He loved, um, we all loved the Jack Apps, although they felt like the Jack Apps from Vape Juice tasted more like an apple pie. I personally feel like it tastes like Apple Jacks. Where they're getting apple pie, I don't know. <laughs> kind of just baffles my mind, but I know we're all different. We're all going to come up with different, but the, my point being is that there was one brand, one line, entire line from this brand that we were all like, and that says a lot, I think. Um, I know that sometimes, like for example, root beer float, um, the one root beer float we had to try was from Grayscales, and my husband and the friend loved it, but I hated it, and here is why. I won't drink a root beer float. I hate root beer. I won't drink it if it's the only thing there to drink at a party, which my husband's family always does. I will not drink it, period. I will just, and the water is like really hard water, so I won't drink the water either. I will dehydrate myself. Root beer, anything, I don't know why, but even back to childhood, it makes me want to gag. So I am not the person to send root beer flavors to. I mean, I'll try but I really hate it. He was like, just try it. I was like, I don't want to. And so I, I hit it and I was like, mm, it's root beer. But I, with that being said, my friend is going to buy Grayscale's root beer float uh, or root beer. I think they're just root beer. Mother vape is root beer float. So let me smell this. I haven't even opened it. I can never get these little off. Look at my lipsticks everywhere. Oh, it's straight on root beer float. Well, I'll give that to her. It's exactly smells exactly. Well, I won't. I won't put it on my cotton. Nope. I won't do it. I won't do it. <laughs> I'll do it for you guys later. But I won't do it. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Some things just don't burn off as easy. Cinnamon and just flavors I don't like. <laughs> but yeah, um, I just sort of jumped from thing to thing, guys. But yeah, this is more of a vlog, so I really don't care. But I don't know. It's just. There's a lot, a lot going on. I've got a lot to do for you guys. Well, for these companies and for myself. But honorable mentions, man. you got to get try out Brap Juice. You can find him. It's B-R-A-P-P-P -P -P Juice at Instagram. And I think he just does his orders. Like you just direct message him, hey, I want to order. He'll get back to you within a day or two. Because um, that's what I did. And you send a PayPal payment. But yeah, check out Brap Juice. I like them a lot. Um, the Kamikaze Cream Loyal Oil Drip, definitely. Um, you guys know I like baked juice. There are some things I hate, but you know, for the most part, I think they're really yummy. And then you guys know I love Mother Vape, and then she's got the 310 going on right now. But yeah, that's what I had to talk about. Just letting you know my trip to Global Vapors went really well. And I was really excited to meet the crew there and, you know, just, you know, get to put faces to the people I've been talking to for several, several months. So that was fun. That was really fun. And then I have some fun things coming my way. Um, I have a do-it-yourself kit from a company coming my way, which is really sort of neat. It is um, a whole entire kit. And then they asked me what flavor I liked, and I told them vanilla custard, so I don't know. Then I also told them as far as brand goes, I love Pop D's. But I haven't bought Pop D's in so long. I miss it. <laughs> I miss it. But it's hard for me to go out and buy anything when I have, you know, when I have so much, you know, to try. So spending $20 on an e-liquid, just, mm, I can't do it. I can't do it anymore. I can't do it. I'm, you know, I, I like the vanilla custard from Vape Juice so much. I just ordered... I got the five pack. Five pack was on sale, which I don't know if it still is, but the five pack was on sale. I think it was five pack. Yeah, five pack was for $25. You got whatever choices you want. Four of those I bought vanilla custard in because it's my favorite. And I was wanting a 120 ml bottle anyways, but it was cheaper to do it this way. And it just means I can just transport them in my bag. So whatever. I'm good with that. Here, I'm good. I'm good with pulling around just a bottle. I'm, I've been out of this. This is how bad I am. I am completely out of this, but yet it's still in my travel bag. It's like wishful thinking every time I go to get it. Oh, yeah, that's right. I want to smell it. I want to come. 
apparently I can't get it off. I can't get it off. Climax does not happen. <laughs> I can't get it off. <laughs> or at least I can get it up. Oh, I missed you. I'm so out of this. I hate being out of this. But yeah, vanilla custard. I love the super berry crunch. Um, the fruitastic, I love them. But I think super berry crunch and blueberry cheesecake was the fifth thing I ordered. Um, those have kind of replaced the fruitastic for me. I still love it. I still have a big bottle of it and I put it into, um, I've got it in. Well, where do I got it? Now I got it in the little one. There. This is my fruitastic. But I mean, I still love it. Oh, oh. well, I don't know. <laughs> it's been a while. I've been vaping. I've been vaping this new stuff. So, man, I'm just in trouble. Isn't this cute? I got it for free. Anyways, makeup. Makeup store Ulta had a sale. I'm all about sales, guys. All about sales. And look at this. My grandmother's chair. This was Clay's idea. Why don't you just use your grandma's chair? I'm like sitting, like, normally I'm like up to here. And now I'm like, like a you know, I don't want to say it, like, like a little tiny person, <laughs> little tiny person just sitting here like, hi guys, anyways, bye, how are you? But yeah, that's what I've got going on, got things to try, all these juices, and I'm very excited, uh, very excited to, you know, give my review for this, it's very interesting, um, this is my first day vaping it, so this will be like the last thing I review. I have been vaping this, and I have been vaping this, so I do have opinions formed on them already. Um, but yeah, this I don't know yet. What the heck? Mm. Oh, that's right. He put the clamp, the Clapton wire in this, and this Clapton wire for some reason has a long, long ramp up time, like forever long ramp up time. So, now it's warm. <laughs> Here's the thing. I feel spoiled, completely spoiled when it comes to these Buddhas. Um, I know a lot of people were like, they're too big, you know, whatever, uh, but I, I like them. I like them. They're huge. They're massive and they're awesome. And it's hard for me. It'll be hard for me to go back to, um, the little RDAs when I've got such big ones that I adore. What's going on with that? This is a 0.11 ohm. It's popping me. I wonder which cotton he put in this one. Now, see, I wish I would have asked him. He did this for me today. Um, and this one is this is Climax cotton, and then this one is Celtic cotton. No, my bad. This one is the Vapor's Cloud cotton. Um, which perform really well, all of them, those three perform great. I, I can't really tell a difference between them, to be honest. I'm going to be straight up honest with you guys. Um, I guess maybe I'm just not sensitive to it. I like it um, to last, and they all three last. So either choice that you make. Um, the sample pack, if you're going off of price, this sample pack, I want to say it was $8.00 which I, I paid, I bought all of this. I bought the Climax and this, and, you know, this was sent to me. Um, I will be buying. This was $5 for a pack. Now, this is almost gone, though. It comes in a full pack, kind of like how this is, but pretty awesome. I mean, whichever one of these you choose, or whatever you choose, whatever, whatever, but just don't choose this one. <laughs> Dinky, rinky dink. Uh, maybe... I don't know. I'll just send it with something <laughs> next giveaway. Here you can have this cotton. I don't know. Maybe somebody else will be like, hey, you're totally wrong. I love this cotton. Well, good, because it's just going to go to waste here. And I hate that. I hate that. But anyways, that's all I have, guys. I'm going to go, and I'm going to stop rambling my head off because I just had to catch up. It's been a week and a half, I think, since I posted the video. So I just want to tell you what's going on in my world and things I've got going on, and I wanted to share the Mother Vape offer code with you because, uh, honestly, 
I think you guys should take her up on that. A free 10 ml bottle. You can try. You can get a flavor and try a flavor. I think that's neat. Can't go wrong. And then with vape juice, if they still have the 5 or 25, I would jump on it if I were you. And then if you use Vape Girl Review, um, you get another 10% off or something like that. I think it's like a dollar something off, but it's something, right? So whatever. I think it's $1.32. I think. I think. I don't know. I'm just guessing. <laughs> I'm just get a dollar thirty-two. It's so precise. Boop. If you spend just the twenty-five, now if you spend more than that, you obviously get more off. But whatever. But anyways, I'm gonna go. I'll check you guys later, and I hope you guys have a fantastic day.